Hello, Emma Griffiths with your national briefing. Former TV host Andrew O'Keefe has been charged over an alleged assault in Sydney. He was arrested early this morning, accused of choking a 38-year-old woman at his apartment on Tuesday. The 50-year-old has been charged with six offences. He's been refused bail and he'll face court tomorrow. The spread of COVID's Omicron strain has been discussed by National Cabinet. A predicted spike in case numbers ahead of winter has been explained to state and territory leaders and the Prime Minister, while the delivery schedule for our supply of the Novavax jabs remains on track. Labor is taking aim at the federal government over its vaccine program as we're encouraged to roll up our sleeve for a third jab. Just 40% of those eligible in New South Wales have received their third dose. Anthony Albanese says the process is slow because the response in Canberra has been. Everything about this current government is too little and too late. It's always waiting for a problem to become a crisis before before it acts. Meantime, COVID cases wise, we've recorded almost 47,000 nationwide as well as 73 deaths from the virus. But in some promising news, both New South Wales and Victoria have recorded a dip in COVID hospitalisations overnight. And it's not the best news if you are hoping to break into the property market in 2022. Australia's median house price is now over $1 million in the latest findings from Domain. Prices experienced a rate growth of 6 0.5%. Whenever you're working near power lines, plan ahead, use a spotter and look up and live. For more power line safety tips, visit ergon.com.au. In sport, the men's doubles final at the Australian Open will be an all-Aussie affair for the first time in 42 years. Nick Kyrgios and Tanasi Kokonakis will take on Mash Epton and Max Purcell in the decider, both teams winning their semi-finals in straight sets. Kyrgios telling Channel 9 the home crowd has been incredible. You know, I've played a lot of singles matches around the globe with amazing atmospheres, but this, this week with Tanasi and Purcell, storming cans for the rest of today down to 24 tonight rain at times tomorrow and 29 degrees our listener app is the home of radio podcasts music and news join up to listen live or on demand now <laughs> <laughs>